for this example, we're going to find the value of the discriminant for this quadratic equation, negative 5r squared plus 7r plus 8 equals 0. Now, the discriminant is part of our quadratic formula. This is the discriminant, and it tells us a couple of, well, it can tell us very important things about our answer. But right now we're just going to practice finding it. So we're going to use this formula, which is just the un, what's underneath the radical. So, how do I find that? We need to know what B, A, and C are. So the standard form of any quadratic is going to be AX squared plus BX plus C. And all they did was they replaced X with R. So it's still a quadratic. The R's are just letters, just like X's. So our values are the coefficients of each term. So A, the coefficient of the X squared term is negative 5. The coefficient of my bx term is 7, and my c constant value is 8. So we're going to plug this in to b squared minus 4ac. So I'm going to have something squared minus 4, leave a space for a, and leave a space for c. So we said that b was 7. We said that a was negative 5, and we said that c was 8. So now let's multiply. 7 squared, that's 49. Uh, we have this negative 4. I like to think of this as the negative sign is with this 4. So negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20 times 8 is 160. And that's a positive 160. So I get 49 plus 160. If we use the calculator for that, we're going to get 9, 4, 0, one we're going to get 209. So my discriminant equals 209. And we'll get to what that means in the next one.